<laughs> Alrighty guys, welcome back to episode of Forza Motorsport 5. Check out this beauty in our garage. We just added her. The Lamborghini Gallardo Super Legera. Let's check her out here in Forza Vista. Let's go ahead and do a quick little rock around. Oh my goodness. Absolutely freaking beautiful. The bright yellow Lamborghini color. Yellow contrast stitching on the inside. Oh, this is just beautiful. The Italian uh, red, white, and green running down the side. Super Legera. Ooh. All right. Let's hear about this bad girl. The illustrious history of Lamborghini began with a snub. Ferruccio Lamborghini was the owner of a successful tractor company in Italy. When he demanded higher quality parts on his Ferrari, though, he was dismissed by the company's founder, Enzo Ferrari, as a simple tractor mechanic. Enraged, Lamborghini set out to prove Ferrari wrong by building a superior machine. Holy. Lamborghinis are known for their flamboyant styling with sharp angles, massive wings, and raked windshields. The most outrageous Lamborghini innovation, however, is the iconic vertical doors, which debuted on the Lamborghini Countach. Originally designed as a practical solution for cramped parking lots, the wing-like doors became a trademark for Lamborghini and are featured on all flagship models to this day. Thanks to car enthusiasts, modified Lambo doors have been installed on everything from pickup trucks to Honda Civics in an attempt to capture a bit of that Lamborghini flair. That's crazy! I had no clue! That's how Lamborghini came about! That's absolutely nuts! That's such a cool story! You're not gonna give me better parts? Okay, screw you! I'll make a better car. You know, I mean, obviously, I'm not saying they're better. Some Lamborghinis are better than Ferraris, some ways around, but that's nuts. That's absolutely crazy. That's a really cool story. I did know that the Lambo doors were initially uh, invented for tight parking lots, like in parking spaces and stuff. The, uh, the Countach's doors were like super long. They were like half the length of the car. And so like, imagine trying to open one of those up to get out of it. Uh, if you're in a parking spot, you definitely hit the car next to you, so that's why they made him go up. And then it just kind of became a, um, a thing where, you know, the Countach had him, then the Murcielago had him, now the Aventador has him, things like that. And, and the lesser, you know, no, not lesser known models, but not the flagship models, the Gallardos, the new Huracan, or, you know, things like that, they, they don't adopt those. I think it's an option when you buy one that you can uh, have those installed as well, but yeah. Pretty cool little tidbit of information there. Thank you, Forza. That's what I love. I'm such a car enthusiast or a car nerd. I guess you could say that it's kind of cool to uh, to play a video game that this fun. That it also teaches you something. So that's awesome. All right, here we go. Lamborghini Gallardo LP760-4, I believe, something like that. Dash 40. I'm not sure. I don't know the numbers, but super legera. The most badass of the the Gallardos. And here we go. Let's see what we can do. Taking the outside here. Not the best start in the world. We're still 16th or 13th out of 16. And uh, we only have two laps to, to, to do this up, so this is, this is rough. We keep getting stuck on the outside of these cars to where we can't cut them off. Here we go. This is going to be a good one. We'll gain some positions here. Sweet. All right. Mr. Optic Diesel, get out of here, bro. Wish I could knock you off the freaking road. Wow. That SLS just destroyed me. All of these guys are destroying me. What's up with this? Where did that come from? Damn it. I'm going to go ahead and rewind that one. Normally, I will try not to rewind those, but uh, that one's just like, there's no way I'm coming back from that one. That's an automatic loss, and I don't, I don't want to have an episode like that. Nice job, 4GT. Way to go, bud. Come on, get out of my way, Jesus. This is nuts. Okay, 12th out of 16. Slowly improving our uh, position, 11th. 
I'll take it. Why is everybody so much faster than us? We did those pre-race upgrades. Did we not upgrade it all the way or something? This is nuts. Woo! That's not happening, buddy. We're getting dirty up in here, son. Anything it takes to win. We're cutting corners, smashing cars. Here we go. We're in 10. Catching up to this big pack here. Oh, I wanted to take the inside on him and get that lead. Woo! Cut through the middle, baby. Let me get a sandwich. Seventh. This is really hard. I'm trying my ass off right now. Pulling out every Team Art move in the book, son. Take the inside on you. Thank you very much. All right, so we've battled our way up to sixth place and that was very, very difficult. I honestly don't know if we're even gonna be able to get uh, to finish in the, uh, whatever it's called, um, podium, top three. in the fourth place sorry guys got quiet there I was trying to set up that turn here we go all right we got Nissan GTR we got what is that Nasty Martin 177 in front of him oh lord this is where people are gonna start blowing by us though what the hell is this shit why is this guy Ardo so slow I guess it is relatively slow compared to all the other cars uh, in real life but we've tuned it up to be competitive with this class I don't understand This is nuts. I mean, Gallardos are slow by, are, are not slow by any means. I just don't get what's going on. Yeah, I'm gonna cut you off, bro. I'm at least taking home fourth place. You, are guy, you guys aren't gonna see me take anything less than that. Come on. Get your fat ass out of the way, LFA. The LFA does have a fat ass. That's a big old girl. Let's try to get Godzilla up here. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. It's going to be challenging. Come on. Yes, we're going to edge him out on this next turn. No. Maybe. Yes. Woo. Podium and baby. Ah, shit. His acceleration's too much. Oh, come on. Took that one a little strong. Last turn. Pull it out, baby. Yeah, we got third place. I'll take that. I don't know what's up, but this car is not nearly where it should be in terms of performance. But third place, I think we did pretty well there. Only one rewind. That wasn't bad. I'll see you guys in the next race. Well, this is awkward. There's actually no more races left in the uh, the A class of cars that we we're just doing. So we just joined up in the S class. Let's check out the cutscene. This group demonstrates what engineers can do when they're allowed to go completely mad. There's nothing here you should not experience at least once. Just about every kind and configuration is here. Some have their engines in the middle, some at the front, some have rear drive, some send their horsepower to all four corners. All, however, do have one thing in common. They all look as fast as they're supposed to be. Some people say that the Pagani and the Koenigsegg Agera are racing cars with stereos, but that isn't necessarily so. Road cars may be more powerful than racers, but they're often softer and kinder and squidgier. Be in no doubt, this is a very good place to spend rather more time than you should. 
<laughs> right, sounds good to me. Let's spend rather more time than we should here. So, uh, since we haven't done a full couple of episodes with this Lamborghini Gallardo, we're just going to upgrade this thing till he's competitive in the, uh, the S-Class here. So here we go, upgrade car. Okay. Uh, upgrade cost is 25750 bucks. Schmackaroonis. Let's go ahead and do that. Saving our content. What do we got here? There it is. All right. Continue on. Return to Prague. We're heading to Prague full. Yeah, buddy. Rolling like a big shot. Let's get it, baby. Here we go. Let's see if we can win a race this time, Mr. Gallardo. I'm looking at you, son. You need to step it up this time. You've been upgraded to an S-Class engine, so let's see if... Uh, or an S-Class car, I guess we should say. Let's see if you can uh, hold it down. This is funny. Bunch of Paganis and Koenigsegg's and all kinds of craziness up in this class of cars. And we're just in here with a Gallardo. Just chilling. Just chilling, son. Wow, we're actually doing pretty good this time, too. Wow, what is this? Is that a Mitsubishi Lancer? What the fuck? Fudge? Are you doing in here? That's what we should do. We need to take like a Honda Civic and <laughs> just turn it into a freaking P1 race car. Oh man, that's funny. All right, fourth place, three lap race. Man, I love the handling on this Lamborghini. You can be going way too fast and you can just get her to start sliding and she starts breaking on her own. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. We're going to get passed up by a couple of guys for that one. Shoot. I wish we could have snuck right through there. I wish he didn't have to be in the way. The handling on this thing cannot be matched. Screw you guys. We're already in second place. I don't know what's up with that last race. I don't know why we were so slow compared to everybody else, but we were racing cars a million times faster than us, and the upgrades... Or not a million times faster than us, but a million times faster than the other cars we were racing. And the upgrades are actually working this time. So, uh, weird. I don't know why. But I'll take it. We're competitive now, baby. Let's go. Psych, we ain't slowing down for nobody, son. Uh, get out of here. Woohoo! I love it. Oh! I feel like a pinball bouncing off the walls. I just ran into that one on purpose because I wanted to, uh, to make sure that that guy didn't get by us. He's trying to pull an outside maneuver and I was not having that. All right, here we go. Starting up lap number two. Already in first place, our Gallardo is kicking ass and taking names, baby. This is what I like to see. Next rival is King Average. Good thing I'm King Perfection, baby. Oh, that's a beautiful tree. I'd never noticed this tree before. This white one. What is that? Lilacs? Cherry tree? Probably cherry tree. Maybe lilacs. I don't know. Lilacs smell really good. I don't know if you guys have ever had those. Uh-oh. Bumper on the road. For some reason, I feel like if you ran over a supercar bumper, there'd be a little bit more damage than what just happened right there. It wouldn't just move out of the way. You can go kerplunk a plunkin That's right. That's a verb. Kerplunk a plunkin All right. Woo! We are flying, son. I love this. I seriously want to go buy like a crappy car and race it in the freaking super class. Oh, that'd be so much fun. Oops. For whatever reason, we just destroy Prague. I feel like the corners on this, uh, this track are big enough and, you know, kind of slow enough that you don't have to take them as slowly as the game recommends you do. Like this drive map here that's telling me to break. I don't actually have to break. Screw that. I'm not breaking. So all the other drivers on the race are braking at all these turns, and we're just gliding on through them. Because we always seem to have a pretty big lead on this map, so that's a good thing. Like, check this out here. Screw braking. Oh, gosh. Probably, <laughs> that was a little bit too much. You don't have to brake, but you kind of have to let off the gas and not be flooring it. So we can do better than that. All right. 
Here we go, last couple of corners, and then we'll be on to the final lap. On to the final lap, baby, where you at? Where's that white flag? Woo! Final lap, time to do some spins. Oh, we beat King Average. Cobb Wacky Tube Man. Where, where are they getting these gamer tags from? I feel like these aren't real people. Man, we just got some air, son. Like, look at this. We aren't stopping. There's no reason to. We might brush the wall a little bit, but we're good. Look at our lead, son. Oh, trying to take that one a little bit too fast. That's all right, though. Here we go. About halfway through this final lap. Like, why would we slow down right there? I feel like that's probably where we get the, uh, the most distance between us and our, our competitors. Why would we stop on that little downturn right there? I don't even know what it is. Slow that bad boy down, take the inside, knock these pylons out of here. I don't need those, son. All right, let's see what we can do in here. Slow down a little. Glide around these corners. Oh, that was magnificent, Trevor. Woo, that's magnificent, Trevor. Don't hit it. Ah, dang it. Of course we had to hit it. We were doing so well on the other ones. We were inches away from the wall, but not touching it. That was awesome. Playing it safe on that last corner. I didn't want to run into it and end up losing the race. So here we go, guys. This is a pretty handy win with our Gallardo. Absolutely beasted on these supercars. There you guys have it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode. We'll change the paint job on this Gallardo and see if we can get a couple more wins. So, uh, see you guys then. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Peace out.